is Gary Sear and I'm in the Flowtech Demo Lab today to continue the series of training videos on the ACH580 variable frequency drive. And today we'll be doing how to manipulate digital inputs. So let's start by showing you how to monitor the digital inputs. The right soft key labeled menu, press that. Hit the up arrow to go to parameters press the right arrow to select and hit the right arrow again to go to the complete list scroll down to group 10 hit the right arrow now press view you'll notice in this screen that it's easy to see that the digital inputs are in the off position if I were to select DI1 it shows that it's on. So let's go back to 1001. Now we can also force the digital inputs by programming them without utilizing an actual input. So hit the down arrow to go to 1003 DI force selection. Press the edit button and let's change the DI1 from a 0 to a 1, whether it is the left arrow or the right arrow. Save. Now, in order for this to take effect, I have to change the parameter in 1004 DI force data to a 1 also. Save. As soon as I do that, you'll notice that the drive is coming on, and I did not actually energize a digital input. I did it through the software of the drive. So now the drive is running from a selected digital input, not an actual closure of a contact. Now let's look at how to invert a digital input. Let's go back, scroll down to group 20, and down to external one in one source. This is the digital input for start stop. Press edit, scroll up to other, press the right arrow, scroll down to group 10. Hit the right arrow and hit the right arrow again. If I hit the right arrow again, it changes this to minus one and press save. The, the drive starts because it's missing the signal to DI1 and we inverted it. Moving forward, I'd like to show you how to adjust the digital input for the start-stop. Go to Menu, scroll up to Parameters, choose Complete List, scroll down to Group 20. Start, Stop, and Direction. Scroll down to 2003, External 1, In 1 Source. Press edit, and you'll notice that there's sections of digital inputs that you can choose from, also timed functions. Now let's look at how to select a digital input for run permissive and start interlock. Press menu, hit the right arrow for primary settings. Scroll down to Start, Stop, and Reference. Then scroll down to Interlock Permissives. To use a Run Permissive signal, go ahead and select. It chooses DI2 for you, but if you'd like to use a different one, scroll down, press Edit, select whatever you'd like, press Save. To change the text, it can be edited. Hit the left arrow to erase. 
the original text up to select whatever character you'd like. such as damper and switch. Scroll down to using Start Enable 1 Interlock. This is typically used for a safety such as fire alarm, uh, free stats. So when I selected that, it's going to show that it is not selected. As far as the digital input, it is using DI4, and we'll keep it as start interlock. I'd like to go back to the main screen so you can see what it looks like. So when I start it in DI1, it cannot start because it's missing an interlock. I will select that. It still doesn't run because of the run enable. When I shut it off, now it shows that the damper end switch is keeping it from running instead of saying run permissive. And that concludes our video on how to adjust digital inputs on the ACH 580 variable frequency.